What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout 4 Mods for the PS4. Today we're going to be taking a look at four mods. And the first mod is called Light Sword by Scientist711. All you have to do to find it is come over here on the map to Hubris Comics. Uh, it is on the top floor. I'll show you guys um, where to actually grab it. There is a battle going on right now. If you guys hear all those gunshots and you see... What the? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So you go, I'm going to head in through the roof because I was already up here. And I just decided to do the intro on the roof because it looked a lot nicer. But either way, you go up to the very top floor of Hubris Comics. Um, and it will be right here on this little mixing table, the audio thing. I don't know. You grab it and it looks like a lightsaber, guys. It looks really cool. We're going to try this out. Indoors Deathclaw action, guys. Come on, let's try it out. Now, obviously, it's going to be a little powerful. I'm getting picked up right now. Now, I didn't even show you guys the stats on it. I'm sorry for that. I'll show you guys in a second, but obviously it's going to be a little powerful because it is a light sword. It's like a lightsaber, right? So, um, it's going to be expected. It doesn't let you, it only lets you like swing it once. It doesn't let you like combo swing it or anything like that. It's a little weird, but as you can see, it's doing a pretty decent amount of damage to the death claw. Now let's go ahead and heal up. All right. So the death claw has been slain. Um, I skipped through it because it took a little longer than I expected just because of the fact that, you know, it's not an extremely overpowered weapon. It's not going to one shot the thing, but uh, either way, let's go ahead and look at the stats. Now, as you can see, there's no preview image on it, unfortunately, uh, but either way, it's it does um, 35 base damage and 89 energy damage. Uh, the speed is slow, very obviously. The value is really high. Um, and I do think it looks really cool when you're holding it. I, I really do like it. I think you guys should at least give it a try. I really do uh, like it for a melee weapon. Uh, one of the more unique ones I've seen out there. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next mod, guys. Alright, guys. So the next mod is called Inquisitor's Hood Requested, and it is by Scientist711 once again. All you have to do to find it is come over here to Hallucigen Inc. Building. Uh, go over here and uh, at the front entrance, it should should be right here up the steps uh, and you have a bunch of different options you have green uh, orange blue and red I'm gonna put the red one on because that is my preferred color um, obviously so let's go ahead and try this one out. So the stats for it says wearer's intelligence increases with rads. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put this on. So this is what it looks like. I actually think it looks pretty cool. It reminds me of something like maybe like Mad Max. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks really nice though. Um, definitely really cool. Definitely check this one out, guys. You see on the like at the back, there's like an exhaust pipe and whatnot. Definitely very interesting. A very nice looking um uh like mask. So definitely check it out, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next mod. All right, guys. So the next mod is called AJ Settlement Objects, and it's by Adrian Herbert. And all you have to do to access it is just go into the workshop. And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the things that I found. Uh, there may be slightly, like, a few more, but I searched, and uh, this is all I could really find. So you have, and uh, like, you know, it just adds in a bunch of retextured items. You have this astoundingly awesome Tails flag right here. You have a bunch of different paintings that were added in. This retextured bed right here which actually looks really really nice I do like that it looks pretty cool you got your Ayla Mao on the side right there really cool and then another bed right here for guns and bullets just a uh, reskinned little uh, sleeping bag too a game console which is actually a container so you can go ahead and store your uh, like pit boy games inside of there which is really really cool um, over here we have a retextured Nuka Cola machine. Uh, this is the Robco one, and this is the Grognak one. I personally like this one way better. Uh, this one is really cool. Now this right here, the Happy Radio. It doesn't. I don't know if this is from the actual mod itself, um, but I found this, and I don't think it's from any other mod. So um, it just produces happiness, which is pretty cool. Uh, this right here is a Nuka Cherry Box, looking really cool. I guess you could put that on display, looking really nice. And then this thing right here. Is is Sean literally <laughs> they added in Sean you could go ahead and place him down in your settlements now he's not laying down he's literally just standing up so uh, I don't it's it's pretty cool I mean I've never seen this from any other settlement mod so um, that's that's pretty cool I, <laughs> I guess but it's a little creepy Either way, let's go ahead and take a look at the next mod. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so the next and final mod is called Not a Nice Guy for the PS4, and it's by Duke of Nobles. To find it, all you have to do is come over to Sanctuary, go to the Soul Survivor's house, and uh, come over here to the backyard. There will be a little cellar bunker door right here. 
go ahead inside of it and let's go ahead and take a look at this mod. So once you load in here, you're going to be looking at the floor, so make sure to look up. But uh, either way, once you get inside, uh, over here around the left, we have a workshop, really, really tiny. Uh, so you can go ahead and use the workshop inside of here. And there's a fuse box right there, so you don't need to place down a generator, which is always nice. We have a bunch of modified uh, weapons. I'm not going to go through the stats of all of them, but they are modified to make you a little more powerful. Uh, and then you have a uh, custom fat man right there. Workbench right there. Ammo stash with a bunch of ammo inside of here. Weapons locker. Um, and over here we have a first aid spot stash uh, with a bunch of different items inside of here to help you out. First aid chems. Uh, over here more lockers. You can go ahead and use them. I really like how that's designed. There's a big one on the left and then two small ones. Same with this one. Really cool looking. Uh, over here we have a bunch of more more like, you know, crafting stations. Chemistry stations and stuff. You got a refrigerator with some, uh, you know, items in there. You can go ahead and use them. Consumables. A sink. Uh, more uh, customized, you know, modified armor inside of here. You have a uh, power armor station right there and I think they're uh, just random items inside of there go ahead and put your bobbleheads over there and uh, that is pretty much it and then over here what I thought was pretty cool you have some scale down models of things over there you got a little tiny tank APC you got you see the sandbags pretty cool guys I really do like it definitely check it out guys there is a DLC version of this one which I have installed right now and there is one that doesn't require DLC so if you guys don't have the season pass or anything like that then you can go ahead and uh, download the other one but thank you guys so much for watching once again I really do appreciate all the support on the videos you guys are awesome and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out